Hi there, this is Jerry from StatNote. Today we're going to learn how to get started with StatNote Basic. So once you enter your email address and sign up, you should receive an email. If you don't see it, make sure you check your spam folder. Or if you're using Gmail, check your promotions folder. Once you open the email, click on the link for step one, which will take you to TechSpander to create an account. Complete the sign up information and click get started. Now go back to your email. You need to verify your email address to finish setting up your TechSpander account. So click the verify me button and this should take you back to TechSpander. Go ahead and check the appropriate box and click next. You can go ahead and purchase TechSpander or test drive the 30 day free trial. Complete the next few questions and click Next. Now, to learn how to get started with TechSpander, you might want to watch this short video. After watching the video, click Continue with that training. Here's a little hands-on tutorial on how to use TechSpander. This abbreviation for your signature snippet starts with a semicolon. However, all for dot traces start with a comma but you can adjust that in your preferences. Now, here are some snippet groups that you can add to TechSpander. TechSpander features a sample of our dot phrases. You might be tempted to add this one. You don't need to, but I will click on it just to show you a possible technical issue you might experience if you do. Click Next. Congratulations, you completed step one. Now you need to download the app to start using TechSpander. Once you download the app and run the installation file, you will need to complete the installation wizard. On a side note, if you get an error message preventing you from installing the app, you might want to contact your system administrator. If you're using your clinic computer and you don't have admin rights to it, you probably cannot install any software. If this is the case, you might want to check out StatNote Ninja Stick. Without installing any software, you can plug in this USB drive to your computer and start using our dot phrases. Once you complete the installation, TechSpander will automatically open and prompt you to sign in. Here you can see the snippet group that you might have added earlier. This is just a sample of our dot phrases. You need to complete step three to get the complete library of over 1,000 dot phrases. To do this, let's get back to your email. Click on the link for step three. Congratulations, now you have the full version of StatNote Basic. Now let's do a little demo. To do this, I'm going to open a notepad. Let's try expanding our diabetes dot phrase. On TechSpander, you can see the list of dot phrases. On the left, there is a short label with a description of the dot phrase. And right next to it, you can see the abbreviation highlighted in dark gray. To expand a dot phrase, you can type the abbreviation and hit enter. In this case, this particular dot phrase has a fill-in window with pop-up menus and optional sections. Once you finish customizing your selections, click OK. This will expand the text in your note. Now, if you chose to add the sample medical library to sign up, you might encounter this issue where there are a few duplicate dot phrases. To solve this, go back to the Text Expander app. Select the medical snippet group. This will open the group settings. Now, on the right upper corner, click unsubscribe. This will take you to the TechSpander website where you can delete the snippet group. This solves the duplicate dot phrase issue. Thank you for watching. If you like TechSpander and StatNote dot phrases, consider subscribing and getting our pro version where you can edit your dot phrases and get rid of the ads. If you decide to purchase StatNote Pro, you will be able to download the complete library for you to upload to TechSpander. Let me quickly show you how this works. Once you complete the purchase, click here to download the file. 
with the dot traces. Go back to your text expander account and under your account settings, select import export. Choose the file that you just downloaded or simply grab and drop the file into the box. Once you finish importing the file, it will automatically appear in your account, ready for you to use. Now you can edit your dot traces. For example, let's add some personalization to this dot trace. Every time you edit your dot traces, they automatically save, sync to the cloud and update on all your devices. Let's see how it looks. Perfect, it worked. Now, if you upgrade to the pro version, you will again have a duplicate set of dot traces. For example, here you can see there are two sets of the same dot trace, one from the basic library and another one from the pro. To fix this, go back to the Text Expander app, select the StatNode Basic Primary Care Library. Now on the right upper corner, click Unsubscribe. This will take you to the Text Expander website where you can delete the snippet group. This solves the duplicate dot phrase issue. Thank you again for watching. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.